Welcome back to A Better Love. I'm your host, Dr. Greg. This week, we're going to talk about the antidote to avoidance, which is very, very important, particularly for my brothers out there, all of us who want to have a more pleasant, pleasurable, wonderful life, uh, given it's so short. Let's enjoy ourselves while we're here. <laughs> what does avoidance mean? Well, let's talk about it in the broader sense before we talk about it in the relational sense. Avoidance is a sense of discomfort. We want to stay away from things that are new, challenging uh, going to require us to put more energy in. We can't develop a fierce emotional connection and love if we are avoidant of intimacy. So how do we get there if maybe we're starting from a place where intimacy is not something that you're familiar with because it wasn't a thing growing up. It wasn't a thing that you had with friends, maybe. Maybe you came from situations where things were scary and not safe, whatever the case may be, where you didn't have those kind of models, right? You didn't see that kind of connection, vulnerability, approaching, working with our partner through things versus avoiding, stepping away, creating emotional distance. Don't judge yourself. Don't be critical of yourself. I'm not getting down on you. Many of us have not have had amazing role models. But if you're really working toward becoming an aspirational, you know, creating an aspirational love, then it begins with leaning into things that are maybe not super comfortable for us. The key to overcoming avoidance is understanding the power, the strength in expressing our vulnerability. What does that mean? It means the coolest people to me are the people who have the capacity, the strength of character to share when they are under stress, when they need things, when they want help, whatever it is, all right? Those are the coolest people. You wanna be that person that is secure enough in themselves that they can ask for what they want and need from others without being worried that it's gonna come off as whatever, weak or whatever the hell it is. I'm over it. We are all vulnerable. All of us are going through the same experience. We're all trying our best, probably. We're all trying to use what it is, whatever it is that we know to live the life that we want in the best way possible. So if we start from that premise, my friends, then we can be more vulnerable. If you don't know what that means in terms of like emotional language, it means actually, for example, being able to talk about feeling sad, okay? Feeling sad, everybody feels sad sometimes. It's okay, it's important for us to be able to say, I'm sad, or if I'm sick, I'm feeling sick, or I'm feeling low, or I feel, whatever it is, my, you know, my back hurts, <laughs> whatever it is. It's, it's just conveying that like you're human, right? You're human and you're going through a human experience. That can only come about if you're in a relationship, you're fostering a relationship, or you're in a relationship where there's safety, security, commitment, trust, then we get used to being able to express our own emotions. Then we get used to feeling things strongly and not losing perspective, being able to communicate through conflicts, right? These are all interrelated with this one thing. By counteracting avoidance with exposure, leaning in to those meaningful, important conversations. When each of us is trying our very best to be our best, to live our fullest life, to aspire to our dreams and to champion each other's dreams, then you're in a good position. It's a place that's safe and it's gonna become safer. It's an attachment, a bond, again, that we hope moves toward security and commitment and trust. And in that kind of environment, fierce passion romance can truly thrive. We want more and more people to enjoy that kind of love, definitely here at A Better Love Project. If you have specific questions about avoidance or avoiding attachment styles or anything else, let us know. We're gonna be doing an episode here soon, probably on this idea of an anxious versus an avoidant attachment style. Is it truly a mismatch? Is it something that can be overcome? The answer is yes, it can be overcome. Stay tuned for that episode though. Until then, if you support our mission here, this 501c3 nonprofit mission at A Better Love Project, Go to patreon.com forward slash a better love project right now and donate to support our mission. Sponsor us at $100 a month, $1,000 for the year, and you'll support our ability to promote this message about a fierce, healthy love and actually how to do it. From my heart to yours, love each other fiercely. And we'll talk soon. Peace.